Hey everybody, welcome back to Code a Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Coding the Callout. On the final website, the callout is this big section right here. It's within what is called a well, this uh, little shadowed gray part right here. It looks like it's carved in a little bit on the website. That is a bootstrap class called well. And this big section I'm calling the big call out because it seems like a really big call to action. It gets you to read something, learn a little bit of something, and then click a big button. This could be used for say on like a sign up page. You have the name of your product, a little bit about it, why you want to buy it, and then buy it right now. Or if you're just wanting to learn a little bit more, you can click on this rather than committing to buying it. That's kind of what this uh, this the idea behind this little section is. So we're going to code the HTML for that. And it's so easy, it's going to be funny. So go to your code editor, editor, and go down to the big call out section, the idea of big call out. Within our big call out, let's start coding some stuff. All right, first up, we're going to, since we're inside of a row, a bootstrap CSS row, we're going to add a column div, close that div and give it the class, okay, the class of call-12. This is going to be a 12 column section. So it spans the full width of the website rather than just half of it or a third of it or a quarter or an eighth or whatever. It's a full width. So that's what this is. End call 12 so we can see where the ending div is within there. Let's add the well. So div class well and that div. And within there, let's give a div with the class of page dash header. And this is a bootstrap three. This isn't something I made up. These classes I'm adding are actual bootstrap three classes. They're in the bootstrap CSS that's included in the download. So when you add this class, it already adds styles to it so everything looks good. You don't have to do any extra CSS. That's why Bootstrap coding websites with Bootstrap is so fast. And page header. Within our page header, we're going to put a level one heading. And say a fancy header. And if you remember, within that uh, level one heading, there was a subheader. And what's really cool about Bootstrap is all you need to do to get that sort of style is add a small tag within a, uh, your heading. It could be any heading, h1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Add a small tag within the, H, the, the header tag and put your subheader text. Subheader for extra awesome. Save. So let's see what that looks like. So there's our well. And here is our header with our subheader. Let's keep going outside of the page header because that was the page header. Let's add a paragraph tag with the class of lead. Remember to close that paragraph tag. And within there, we're just going to write some text. So I'm just going to write some solid leading copy will help get your users engaged. Use this area to come up with something real nice. Know what I'm saying? There we go. Something just whip that together real quick. Now if I refresh that and check it out, there is the leading copy. So the reason why I give that paragraph text the class of lead is because it's leading text and that is a bootstrap three class that makes your otherwise boring normal sized paragraph to some larger uh, to, to a larger font size so it stands out a little bit more than just a normal paragraph for example if I just went like this and just added some lorem ipsum in there this is a normal paragraph this is a leading paragraph that's what the class of lead does this is just standard so you could see how that makes the uh, big call out a little bit cooler. All right, next we're going to add those buttons. So under the, the paragraph tag, let's add an A, the href of nothing, because we don't have any links for that now. 
But if you have links, you can put them in there. Class, let's actually close this A tag so we don't forget. All right, so to access the Bootstrap button styles, we're gonna add the BTN class and we're gonna make it a large button. So btn-large, so this means I want a button and I want that button to be large. And I want that button's color to be the primary color, button primary. And this is all Bootstrap 3 uh, CSS um, classes. So if you're reading the Bootstrap 3 documentation on the getbootstrap.com website under CSS, if you click on buttons, you'll see all of the styles available to you for the buttons and it's so easy to add a super nice button so click a nice big button save that let's check it out look at that just like that I added a nice button with all the states it has normal state hover state active state look at that so that took me all but 30 seconds and it would have been quicker had I not been talking the whole time so that's how fast Bootstrap is at adding buttons. So I'm gonna add another button, copy and paste that, but I don't want it to be a primary button. I want it to be a button link. And I want that link to be uh, saying, or a secondary link. Save, go back, refresh, there's your button link. Look at that, this was the easiest thing ever. So there's your, there's your call out. All right, so we're not done yet. There are still some cool little secret things that we need to add here. Um, I'm gonna show you a really cool thing with a bootstrap. Let's see, this is the final website. If I were to resize here, and then I get to the mobile size right here, a new button pops up, give us a call. So we're gonna add that right now, and it's so easy, you're gonna laugh at it. You probably won't laugh at it though, but check it out. Okay, so in the top of the button call out, right above the well, let's add a div. Give it the class of well. We're gonna add another well. And this is gonna be a small well, so a bootstrap uh, class for well. You can add more classes to this to change how the the style looks so well and well dash small. So I want it to be a smaller well, meaning I don't want as much padding around the content. And visible SM. This means visible small. This means show this element only on small devices. So you won't see this element anywhere on any device if it's not a small. So small meaning there are obviously some uh, parameters that to define what small is and bootstrap has it on their website and CSS I believe responsive utilities visible small you could see here the class visible small small devices up to 100 uh, 768 pixels it's visible and hidden on medium and large devices there are also some more responsive helper classes which is visible MD for medium visible LG for large and you could see how they work here. Hidden small, hidden medium, and hidden large. So this is really cool. It helps you add a little bit um, of responsive awesomeness to your website just by using a couple of responsive classes. So we're gonna use the visible small class to make that button work. So we have visible small. So this element's only gonna show up on devices that are no larger than 768 pixels wide. All right, within this div, let's uh, end well small so we know. Okay, so within this well, we're gonna add an A, href of nothing for now, class button, button large, button block. So this is gonna make this button a block level element, meaning it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna span the full width of its parent element. So because the parent element is 12 columns, the full width of the, the, the website, this button's gonna be the full width. It's gonna be a big, big button. So that's what button block does. Button default, meaning the default color for the button, which is a dark gray. Close that A tag. Within the A tag, let's add a span. 
And we're going to add a glyph icon. Remember those? Class glyph icon. Glyph icon dash phone. Close that span tag and give a little space there so there's some space between the text and the icon. Give us a call. Save that. Watch this. Go back to your website. Refresh. Shrink your website to mobile size. There it is. Look at that. Look how good that is. Okay. We're not done yet. We're going to add one more cool thing. In this final website, if I clicked on a nice big button, I get a cool alert box. So we're going to add that in there, but we're going to save the jQuery to the next lecture. So let's just start by adding this call out, uh, sorry, this alert box. Go back to your HTML. And above your uh, mobile specific well, let's actually add a class here, or sorry, a uh, comment. Visible only on small devices. Let's add a div. Give it the class of alert. This is a bootstrap class. And also give it additional classes to be more specific with these alerts. Alert-success. Alert-block. Fade and in. I know this seems confusing. Um, but uh, it's just their default bootstrap classes and if you were to go to the bootstrap website and click on I believe components and alerts you can see you could just add an alert by giving it the class of alert or you can be more specific alert alert danger alert success alert info and there's a lot more here However, if you're wanting to use a little bit of jQuery to make it pop up and fade in and do all this stuff, um, these are extra helper classes, fade and in, which um, allows you to get that cool effect. When you click that button um, and the alert will fade in, I'll show you. The alert will fade in. And then if I close this, it'll go away, it'll fade out. And I get that by adding those um, CSS classes fade and in. You don't have to add them, but all it will do is just pop in and then when you close it, it'll just pop back out. So this just makes it look a little bit, uh, a little bit more smooth. Okay, end alert. Okay, within that alert, let's actually first give it the ID of success alert. And let's add a button. The type will be button, class, close, data, dismiss, equals, alert. So this is a bootstrap a three um, attribute for this button. And it will dismiss, when you click on this button, it will dismiss or close the alert box. So it calls some JavaScript. You don't even have to do anything extra to make it do that. So let's, um, within this button, ampersand times. This is supposed to give it a little X. Close that button. Save. Go down below that. Level 4 heading. Let's say success. And a paragraph tag. You just made this element display by using jQuery. Now you actually didn't make it show by using jQuery yet because right now it's just going to show up by default because we haven't done any jQuery. Click the X in the top right corner to close this bad boy. Save. Okay, so now let's check out to see what that alert looks like. Refresh. The alert shows up. So it's there, uh, but we don't want it to just be there by default. However, if you did close, click this, it will fade out. But that's just because Bootstrap um, has default functionality when you click on the data dismiss close icon. So that is it for the HTML for the, the big callout. There's still some work we have to do for the callout. We need to do some CSS and we need to use some jQuery to make this actually function the way we want it to. So I'm going to save that for the next couple of lectures. So in the next one, we're going to do a little bit of CSS to tighten this up and make it look a little bit better. There are a few bugs that I don't like. So I'll see you there, my friends.